Hello, it is I. My thoughts for us in five has been out for over a whole year, so you probably know all the ins and outs of the game. However, you'd be surprised to know just how many extra hidden details there are in the game which you may not know about. In fact, I genuinely reckon that you will learn something new in this video, as here are 8 tiny details you probably didn't notice in Forza Horizon 5. Anyways, 4000 likes is the target as you may know. Also, if you know any more hidden details then make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get to this video. As you may know, at the start of Forza Horizon 5, you get dropped out of a plane, which is a pretty cool intro. And what's really cool is if you go to the main festival site over here, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the plane that you jump out of. Except it isn't, because this is not the exact plane. Because the plane over here has no writing on the nose, it has Horizon Festival on the side of the plane, and it has the Horizon logo and the tail of the plane as well. But during the intro, the plane has airlift written on the side of it, it has 2021 HZN written on the nose, and it has B750K on the tail. So if this is not the original plane, then where is the original plane? Well, I'll tell you where it is, it's on the abandoned airfield. As you can see, 2021 HZN, airlift, and B750K on the tail. Exactly like the original plane at the start of the game, except this one is in a bit of a sad state, which is pretty weird to see. And yeah, man, this is basically the exact same plane that you jump out of at the start of the game, which is pretty cool to see. But it's also weird at the same time, like, how can the original plane be at this abandoned airfield whilst the phony plane is at the festival site? Man, do dirt and head back home. I gonna sky like check that drum. 1932 Ford Deluxe 5 Window Coupe is a very, very old car, meaning it of course comes with a lot of quirks. For example, the boot or trunk of this car opens like this, which is very, very weird. I've never seen a car boot open like that, that's so weird. Except this is not the boot, this is in fact the rear seats of the car. Yep, the rear seats of the car are literally outside of the car. And what's really cool is that Forza acknowledges this and you can actually sit inside the rear seats of the car. Look at that, I'm literally sat in the rear seats of the car. This is so weird, imagine driving like this. So yeah man, big up Forza Vista because without Forza Vista, I'd have never known that the rear seats were literally outside of the car. Wingman, left back flow, weak man, head back blow. As you may know in Forza Horizon 5, there is a mission where you actually get to drive a parade float. Okay, here I am driving the parade float, but have you ever wondered what car is underneath the parade float? Like, what is the chassis based on? Is it just wheels underneath the parade float? But guess what? You can actually find out what the car is underneath. Because once it turns daytime again, they take you to a canyon jump where you jump the parade float. But if you if you pause the game right now, yeah, and if you go to creative uh, uh, photo mode, you can actually look underneath the parade float and it reveals to you that the car underneath is the flatbed truck. Yep, the flatbed truck from Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5 is the chassis for the parade float, which is so cool to see. This is so bright. But yeah, man, how cool is that? They actually used the flatbed truck as the chassis for the parade float. I tell you what, Forza are really good at recycling stuff, aren't they? Skin. Now, have you ever noticed that when you're customizing your character, I mean, you probably don't customize the character so you don't notice this. If you go all the way to wrists, all the watches are set to 1.37 pm, including the analog watches, they're all set to 1.37. Now, you might be wondering why this is the case, and it's because this is a popular, like, sort of Easter egg in lots of video games, because 1.37 or 1337 looks a bit like L-E-E-T, which is short for elite or something, I, I don't know. But yeah, man, that's the reason why all watches are set to 137 because it looks like it says leet. I don't man, it's just a very popular easter egg in lots of video games. Now this is not just seen in Forza Horizon 5 because in every single other Forza Horizon game I believe, if you look at the watch then it's always set to 137 which is pretty cool. It's really cool how they carry this onto like every future Forza Horizon game. So yeah man, this is a really really cool feature however if I go inside a car, if you look at the clock of the car then it is always set to 12 o'clock which is pretty weird. How can the watch be saying 137 while the car says 12 12 o'clock. It's very weird. So yeah, man, is it 12 o'clock or is it 1.37? I guess we'll never know. I'll stand in the middle of the field and scare man's crow. Now a whole year after Forza Horizon 5's come out, you'd expect to know the map inside out. I mean, I thought I knew the map from the back of my head, but I actually didn't. I mean, during the trailer of the game, you may have seen that footage of the uh, defender driving through a waterfall. Now you've probably been wondering, where on earth is that waterfall? I can't find it. Well, my friends, if you go up here, and then if you drop your car down here, here is the waterfall. And yeah, man, this is so cool. This is where the defender drives through in the trailer, and oh my god, it's so cool. Also, you can drive your car up here outside of the 
puddle all over there. You could drive your car up the stairs over here. And lo and behold, there is a water fountain over here. How cool is that? Granted, there is no water inside of the water fountain. I feel like there's meant to be water, but they forgot to add it. But come on, guys. This is a really cool hidden location. Also, if you visit Hotel Castillo, if you drive all the way to the back of the house over here, you can park up your car and there is a whole restaurant outside with lots of people there. Which is pretty weird. I mean, this is meant to be a personal house of mine and there are people chilling in the back, which is kind of like invasion of privacy, I guess. But yeah, man, this is really, really cool. Who knew about this? And if you go to the main festival in Fort Rice in Mexico, you can actually squeeze a Pill P50. Oh, wait, what? Can we still do it? Oh, can we, can we go? Oh my god, we can! Yes, we can do it! Oh my god, look at me, I'm driving it inside people. That's kind of weird to say. So yeah, man, did you know about all of these secret locations? I sure didn't until I looked up videos on YouTube, which is kind of weird. But yeah, man, these are some really cool locations which I never knew about in Forza Horizon 5. So definitely check them out because those are some really cool locations. They couldn't figure how I pattern my flow. I stay cool when my catalogue's cold and too nice. So a number of plays were first introduced in Forza Horizon 3 and they've been carried on through every single future Forza Horizon game. But the number of plays have been a little bit weird on the Lamborghini Hurricane. Because in Forza Horizon 3 you get a rectangle plate. In Forza Horizon 4 you also get a rectangle plate. But in Forza Horizon 5 you get a sort of square American style plate. Now you might be thinking, oh that's because the game's set in Mexico and Mexico have those American style plates. But on the Hurricane Performante the number plate is a rectangle. And it's the same thing on the Evo. The Evo has a rectangle plate as well. Well, but on the Hurricane, it's a sort of square style plate, which is really, really weird. And the thing is, I don't think any other car has had the number plate change like this. I've only ever noticed it on the Hurricane. All the other cars seem to have the same plate that they had in Horizon 3. So yeah, man, it's a very, very weird feature. I don't know how sad I was to discover this, but hey, I discovered it. It's a big movie. Now in Forza Horizon 4, you can fly your drone into the festival and just hang around with all of the festival goers in Horizon Britain. But if you try that in Forza Horizon 5, then you can't fly your drone over these gates, so you can't hang around with all of these people. So yeah, man, it's very sad that in Forza Horizon 5, you can't hang around with all of these people. Or can't you? Well, in Guanajate, there are some areas where you can hang around with the pedestrians. I mean, just outside the baseball stadium, you can actually fly your drone over these bollards and hang around with the people here. How cool is this? Okay, we've got Dave over here. We've got a Vanessa. We got Rebecca, we got Jane, we got Jaden, who's who identifies as a she, her. And look at this, I can even be the vendor for the people. What food would you like? Would you like a Big Mac? Okay, here's a bit. That's a weird looking Big Mac. That's a polygon, nothing weird. Oh, look at this. This fountain actually has water in it. You know what, Vanessa? What, what, why are you getting angry? Why are you waving at me? Why are you, why? Your eyes are weird. Do you play? You just said that. What are you, why are you moving at like two frames per second? What's wrong with you? Why are you wiping your chair? You're not even sitting on a chair. Hey, this guy's the worst vendor ever. Like, look how long the line is for the food and he's not doing anything. He's like, oh, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Blood, serve some food. Like, look at all the food you got. Like, serve it to the people, man. I'm getting a bit distracted, but yeah, how cool is that? You can actually fly your drone with the people in Forza Horizon 5. Now, yes, I know you could do this in Forza Horizon 4, and it was kind of better in Forza Horizon 4. But come on, you can still do it in Forza Horizon 5, so there's no need to complain. Celebrity death match. One shot, look at your head back. Man. Now, have you ever noticed that when modifying your car, then sometimes it shows the front view like this, whereas other times it goes to the back of the car like this? Well, I've always wondered how does it decide whether to show you the front of your car or the back of your car? And ladies and gentlemen, I finally know why, and it's to do with the engine placement of your car. Because if you're modifying a front engine car like the Civic, then of course the engine is going to be at the front, so it's going to show you the front of your car. Whereas on a mid or rear engine car like this Honda NSX, it will of course. I can't speak. It of course shows you the back of your car, so yeah man, the more you know. Now, I feel like everybody knows this already and I'm just only just discovering this because I only just found out about this recently. But yeah man, this really did bamboozle me, so yeah, the more you know. Well hello there my friend, did you enjoy this video? If so, then you might want to watch uh, this video up here, so make sure to give that a watch right now. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, then press this button right here, thank you very much. Anyways, have a good one guys. Cheers.